Hi, I'm Carol O'Mara, horticulture entomologist with Colorado State University Extension in Boulder County. Raised bed gardening is one of the great ways we can put in these pocket gardens in small yards, even when we don't want to try to get a big tiller into that yard in order to, you know, plow up the back 40. Putting in a raised bed is really, really simple. All you have to do is get some untreated lumber and put together a box. It's as simple as that. You can make it as large as you want to, but the width is one of those things that you do want to pay attention to. About four feet wide on raised beds is pretty excellent because all you have to do is be able to reach in from the sides in order to get to the center and you can move around. And approximately four feet is the perfect size for most adult arms. How tall you make your raised bed is up to you. You can raise it just four inches if you only want to define where the garden is and where people can walk on the pathways. Deeper beds than that, like this one that's about 12 inches tall, means that you can really get a garden in areas where you might have tree roots or other things that are a problem for you to till into the soil. These are pretty easy to build. All you have to do is get some untreated lumber, cut it to the size that you need, and then put it together. We've used these L brackets here to help stabilize the corners and attach them together. What they do is they go on each board and then we've attached them with screw eyes directly into the wood. You can take some bolts and you can go in from the end. It's entirely up to you. All you have to do is make sure that you're attaching them pretty securely together because the weight of the soil pushing out on these boards is going to want to make them collapse. So using these L brackets is an ideal way to make sure that you have a nice secure box for your gardening. Once you've got your box built like this one is, set it where you need it to go, but you're not ready to fill it yet. When you're looking at the soil that you want the bed to lay on, you've got to incorporate the soil into whatever it is that you're going to be filling your box with. This will help prevent building up a soil interface problem where the water doesn't really percolate down into the next layer. You want that bottom layer to be pretty fluffy. Roots of some of the vegetables can get pretty deep and they might dive a little lower than the bed itself. So before you start filling the box, get a shovel, and just turn the soil a little bit so it's nice and fluffy. And then you can incorporate your soil on top of it. Level your box and you're ready to go. What you want to do is turn the soil all the way through the box itself, pulling out any of the weeds that you find that are coming up. Once you've gotten your soil turned, you can go ahead and put topsoil in. Compost is important also. You can get bag topsoil and bag compost at the store if you want to, or you can go around to some of the landscape supply companies if you have a pretty big box to fill and get an entire truckload. Add it slowly into your box. Don't pour it all in at one time. We're going to have many bags coming in here. I'm going to smooth this out just a little bit. And I still don't want to have just the lower layer, even though I turned it, and then a completely different layer on top. The real secret is to make sure you're integrating the soils together. So we're turning them. You still don't want a layer of the fluffy lower soil, even though we turned it, and then a completely different layer of this top soil. So I'm going to be smoothing this out just a little bit across the area, adding it in slowly, and then turning it. This integrates both layers of soil. This is the secret to making sure that you're not actually building a bathtub. Instead, you're building a system of soil that has been blended together and perfect for the plants that you're going to be putting in your box. All you have to do is just keep turning the soils together as you slowly add them to the box until everything is integrated and you're making a nice system for your plants to grow. And that's how you put a raised bed together. I'm Carol O'Mara, helping you garden.